Sakai is pleased to introduce a new series of rollers, the ND series. Tandem rollers featuring a dual drum oscillation and vibration system. Oscillation refers to the movement of the drum horizontally back and forth. The drum massages the pavement surface with a dynamic kneading action to provide both density and smoothness. Vibration refers to the movement of the drum vertically up and down. The drum compacts the asphalt mix by hitting it much like a hammer. On bridge decks, we must be careful, as excessively strong vibration may crack the pavement and fracture the deck. Recently, the compacted thickness of asphalt pavement surface course layers are getting thinner on road maintenance projects. In many cases, the thickness is only one and a half inches or less, primarily due to reduced funding available to road agencies. In some states in the USA, oscillatory rollers have been used in thin asphalt pavement layers. Oscillatory rollers are also being used on bridge decks where vibratory compaction might affect the bridge structure. Paving contractors still want versatile rollers that can be used to compact both thin and thick asphalt pavement layers. To meet those customer demands and save the contractor money, Sakai has developed the ND series tandem rollers with a dual drum oscillation and vibration system. Other oscillatory rollers typically combine a single oscillatory drum with a single vibratory drum. There are three types of rollers in the ND series. The largest model, the SW850ND, weighs 29,500 pounds with a drum width of 79 inches. The mid-size model, the SW770ND, weighs 25,000 pounds with a drum width of 67 inches. The small model, the SW652ND, weighs 17,000 pounds with a drum width of 58 inches. Now, Let's review the history of the development of the ND technology. Before the ND model was fully perfected, Sakai developed a nutation roller in 1985, the N3 model weighing 13,000 pounds. The nutation system moves the drums in an elliptical orbit at the interface with the pavement surface. The kneading action obtained is better than oscillation to provide a tight surface texture. Sakai also developed two additional models, weighing 9,000 and 22,000 pounds in 2001 and 2003 respectively. However, due to the single nutation function, the ability to achieve density was limited. To provide more versatility, in 2003, Sakai developed the first of the ND series, the SW651ND, and then four additional ND models weighing from 15,000 to 29,500 pounds. The ability of the ND roller to achieve the desired level of density, smoothness, and surface texture was proven through multiple tests, both in the laboratory and at actual paving sites. To achieve the desired results, the amplitude of the oscillation is the key factor. With Sakai's patent, only ND rollers provide the ability to adjust the needed amplitudes for both drums. The oscillatory amplitude of other rollers must be greater than the Sakai ND models because the limited total compactive effort 
of a single oscillatory drum must be equal to that of Sakai's dual oscillatory drums. A paving contractor located in Florida conducted a series of tests comparing the performance of the Sakai SW850ND roller to a competing oscillatory roller. The operating weight of the rollers were similar at 29,500 pounds, but the oscillatory amplitude of Sakai's ND roller was about half of the oscillatory amplitude of the other roller. After running a density test, Sakai's roller achieved 95.4% of the theoretical maximum density, while the other roller achieved only 93.2%. The lift thickness was one and a half inches. The Sakai dual drum oscillatory system was used for all five passes. The other oscillatory system made one static pass and then four oscillatory passes. Initially, Compacting the mix with one pass in static mode was standard operating procedure for the contractor on this project. The reason for this was that when the oscillatory mode was used on the first pass of the competing roller, displacement of the mix occurred. In the next test section, the SW850ND was operated with only the rear drum in oscillatory mode similar to the competing roller. Both rollers passed the minimum density requirements and the average results were essentially the same. Even though the Sakai ND roller operates with a lower oscillatory amplitude, the difference in the amplitude between the two rollers did not make any difference in the final density of the thin lift pavement. Sakai ND rollers with the optimized oscillatory amplitude in both drums always has the potential to achieve a higher level of density compared to other oscillatory rollers. Given that the mixed temperature during the first breakdown roller pass is the highest, an increase in density with the ND rollers operating in oscillatory mode during the first pass provides for a much higher density compared to rolling in static mode. The difference in the initial density will result in higher final density as well. It is well known that the cooling rate of an asphalt mix affects the final level of density that can be obtained. According to the Pave Cool software, the time available for completing the breakdown rolling before the mix temperature decreases to 230 degrees Fahrenheit is about 4 minutes when the ambient air temperature is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. When the ambient air temperature is 60 degrees Fahrenheit, the mix will cool to 230 degrees Fahrenheit in about 2 minutes. Thus, operating the ND roller in the oscillatory mode during the first roller pass is a key to better compaction. It has been calculated that the maintenance costs for the Sakai ND rollers are much lower than the maintenance costs of competing oscillatory rollers. This is due to the gear drive system for the eccentric shafts and the thicker drum shell providing much longer service life compared to the competing rollers. The drive belts in competing oscillation systems need to be changed every six months to two years. Because the Sakai ND series do not use drive belts, such maintenance work is unnecessary resulting in lower operating costs. Additionally, the life of the Sakai ND drums with a thickness of 0.82 inches can be 10 years or longer. Other oscillatory drums with a thickness of only 0.67 inches may only last half of the life of the ND drums.
The ND models with an oscillatory and vibratory system can operate in seven different modes. Both oscillation and vibration modes have three options for drum operation. Dual drums, the front drum only, and the rear drum only. Including static mode, that is seven different operational modes. The dashboard is designed to switch easily between oscillation and vibration modes. The next switch allows changing operation modes between dual drum in the center, front drum only on the left, and rear drum only on the right. It is also possible to switch between oscillatory and vibratory mode while the roller is operating. Make sure to select either auto or manual mode on the dashboard before operation. Another important feature of Sakai's ND series rollers is the dual drum vibration system, capable of compacting a thick lift asphalt pavement, coarse graded asphalt mixes, as well as aggregate base and sub-base layers. This is the reason why the NDs are more versatile than any other oscillatory roller on the market today. The dynamic kneading action of the Sakai Vibratory Pneumatic Tire Roller, model GW750, achieves a uniform density throughout the total thickness of the pavement layers. The level of vibration transmitted by the GW750 is even lower than that transmitted by ND rollers in oscillatory mode, because pneumatic rubber tire contact with mixes is much softer than that of steel drums. A Sakai R&D engineer measured the level of vibration transmitted by the SW850ND operating both in oscillation and vibration modes, and by the GW750 operating with a maximum vibratory amplitude. These measurements were conducted at six locations over a distance of 200 feet. The measurement results show that the vibration levels measured at 50 feet from the wheel edge for oscillation were 52 versus 67 decibels for vibration and 45 decibels for the GW750 operated with a maximum vibration. The differences of 15 to 22 decibels are huge. Look at the water in bottles placed on oscillating and vibrating drums. That is the primary reason why the joint use of the ND roller and the GW750 provides the best roller combination, especially for paving in residential areas and on bridge decks. Because it achieves a uniform density, tight surface texture, and pavement smoothness more efficiently and quietly. The ND roller with a dual drum oscillation and vibration system is more versatile than other oscillatory rollers. This is because one ND machine can compact both thin lift and thick lift asphalt pavement layers and still produce a high quality pavement. The overall benefits of Sakai ND rollers are more than double the value of competing oscillatory rollers. This is because quieter and more efficient compaction on both thin and thick lift pavements. Quieter and more efficient compaction on bridge deck pavements. Lower maintenance costs and higher resale value. Sakai equals speed equals profit. Presented by Sakai.